Okay, so uh, first up, special thanks to Google for working with us to do yet another buy one, give one. This is for Black Girls Code. And if you're interested in doing artificial intelligence and you were always thinking of getting the AIY voice kit, guess what? You can get one, and, and when you buy one, it immediately, one goes to Black Girls Code. That's how it works. You buy one of these, it goes to them. You buy one of these, it goes to them. You get one, they get one. They get one. And that's what we think can work out for this type of giving that people, they want to get something for themselves, and they also want to make sure someone gets something. So, including this kit, there's a pie. Yep, you get a USB Pi, you get a hat, um, you get the speaker and the button with RGB. It's plug and play. There's no soldering required. And they even made it really easy to set up with an Android device. Um, you don't have to SSH into anything. You can do it almost completely on Android device, I think, like last I checked. If you have an iOS device, you have to like log into the Pi and set something up, but it's also not too hard. So we just launched this. Special thanks to Google. And if you want to do something good, um, this is yet another group that you can do things with. We're going to continue to do this, hopefully all through the month of November and December, because we think that it's possible to do buy one and give one for all sorts of different groups out there. So if you're a company and you want to participate with this, with this, let us know as well. Next up. OK. New gizmo. We had the TFT gizmo that people loved, and we do a lot of projects with that. Now we have the tricolor ink gizmo. It's just like the TFT gizmo. It, it screws onto, it's a bolt-on kit, screws onto your Circuit Playground Express or Circuit Playground Blue Fruit. I will say it does not work with the Circuit Playground Classic because you actually need too much RAM uh, to display on there. So um, this is for the Express and Blue Fruit and any other future Circuit Playground. But for those two, you can uh, use it in Arduino or in Circuit Python. The Blue Fruit works best because it has tons of memory. And uh, here it is with the Blue Fruit and you can of course send uh, data and images remotely to it if you'd like and let me reset it so you can see it uh, maybe if I hold on uh oh my battery died I think you know it's funny when the battery dies you can't tell you can't tell still, because it's, it's e-ink and you mm. don't get a chance to um... yeah I, I think I left it on okay so here we go so now it's um, updating the image and uh, it doesn't update immediately, so something to watch out for. It takes about 15 seconds. And you also don't want to update it more than every uh, few minutes. But that said, um, you get wonderful uh, black, white, and red displays. And when okay. your battery dies, it still works, Yeah. Uh, which is great. So you're going to unplug it, and look, it still has okay. the image on it. So um, yeah, pick one up uh, for uh, your Circuit Playground. Blue Fruit is best, but you can also get uh, some basics working on the Express. So. A great, uh, no power needed display that looks great at any angle and look great outside. Yeah, look at it. Try color. Look at it. Okay. Look at it. Um, stemma, 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 stemma. Quick, quick, quick. QT, QT, QT. Gravity, gravity, gravity. Grub, grub, grub. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for doing my job for me. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got uh, this. We're adding a, a bunch more stemma QT slash quick cables. So these are JST. SH cables, um, and here is a demo, which of course oh, I that's unplugged. That's cool because it's just working. a Circuit Playground Express with the okay with Stemma and uh, alligator clips. That's yes. Cool. So now you have all of our sensors and devices that have these little uh, Stemma QT or quick connectors. No solder. No solder required, and then you can now alligator clip them. So this is an alligator clip adapter, and you can give it three volts SDA, SCL, and ground. Uh, and then you can just, you know, you have displays, you can chain them together. So, you know, this goes through display. And then on the other hand, you know, this connects to a sensor or some other device. Um, and it's great for adding our I squared C sensors. Um, all the new sensors that we're adding, you'll notice they have these connectors. Um, so that, uh, again, because people were like, oh, why don't you make like a wearable version of everything? It's like, well, we kind of like didn't want to go through and add wearable versions of every sensor. So instead, you know, for this breakout, um, it becomes wearable because you can use alligator clips uh, to plug oh, it in like that. You can chain these along. So and you can cool. chain these along. Okay, we have okay. other stuff. Next up. More, more, more. We have a shorty cable and we have a long cable. So we had a 100 millimeter cable, but now we have also a 50, which is half the length, and 200. Um, and I'll show this off. So you can use this to connect 
uh, between boards. So for example, this board has uh, the STEM IQT connector and then it can connect to here and then it can connect to there. Um, so you can chain these. And then over here, for example, uh, I've got that really long cable. So if you need um, super long cables, I will say, I, you know, I for a few feet, it's not recommended. You can go to a foot or two, I think, with I squared C, and yeah. it's okay. And so then... That's, that's the other one that's here? Yep, so it's the long one, and then we have also the short one. Yeah, okay. So two, two are different lengths. Stemma, Stemma QT. These are Stemma QT or Quick Compatible. Quick Compatible. They're JST SH one millimeter pitch. All right. And well, they've got the colors to match, like black goes to ground, red goes to power, blue is SDA, and yellow is SCL. So yeah. great for I squared C, and you'll notice... Like I said, we are, our two OLEDs have the connector, and then our new sensors are all coming yeah. with this connector as well. Okay, what are these? These are uh, Stemma Large, the classic large size. Um, they come in a pack of 10. And uh, we use these on, on our bigger boards. Uh, they're Grove compatible, which is pretty nice if you have seed Grove sensors. So this is a 10 pack. I'll show on the overhead. These two. Actually, you know, let's go to the next one, and I'll show both. Yeah, at the same we time. have the. So this is the horizontal like the style. Ones and the horizontal, one. horizontal style, and then the vertical style, uh, but they're both yeah. four-pin um, JST PH two-millimeter pitch, and I'll show these on the overhead. So, uh, compared to this small JST SH, these are much bigger. They're uh, two-millimeter pitch. Um, but that's great because um, they're a little easier to work with. They're larger and you can hand solder them. So let's say you have uh, one of these breakout cables. Um, you, uh, you can plug it in. It only plugs in one way because there's a key. And then um, this solders onto your circuit board and then you can have the cable coming out from the top. Or removing this. It's tough when there's no PCB to grip onto. Um, this version is the horizontal style. So same, it only goes one way. And this one, it plugs in on the side and, and comes out the sides. This okay. one is vertical style out from the top. This is horizontal style from and, the side. And then do you want me to just keep clicking through all these yeah. other ones? Because we got... So that's just a cable, yeah. the cable. And then um, these are the four pin ones. ones. And then next up we have the three pin version. Same thing, but three pin. So the four pin we like to use for I squared C. The three pin ones we like to use for analog um, and servo connectors, we have like NeoPixels that have this cable on the end or servos. And you can, actually you can notice on the gizmo, um, we have that same connector. So it's easy if you want to like, oh, I want to connect NeoPixels or servo or, you know, potentiometer, um, you can plug in yeah. and you have a nice solid cable to connect, you know, and power, you ground and signal. Um, so now if you're like, oh, I want to add this uh, three pin connector to your project. We also have a 10 pack of the three pin, same vertical and horizontal style. So this is the vertical style. Uh, you solder it on the bottom and it sticks up like so. Yeah. And then the horizontal style, ditto. It uh, fits the three pin connector. Yeah, and also mentioned in the chat, if you have a Pi Badge LC and you want to add connectors, these are great for that. Yeah, you can do that. And then this sticks out the side. So we like, uh, you know, we have two sizes of connectors that we like to use. We like to use the JST PH, which is this larger, chunkier, and then the JST SH, which, um, you know, we call the, the Stemma QT because it's, it's a cutie version. It's a smaller, cute version, but it's um, pin compatible because it's got the same you know, ground power data clock, and then this has the same ground power data clock, but of course it's much smaller, so this okay. is good for little breakouts. Well, I feel like we have to plug these into something, and maybe uh, maybe this is one of the things that, yep. you know, so we for example, uh, we also have two breakout boards that we updated. So these are actually updates. Uh, we've had these OLEDs before, but I was in the mood to update them because I was actually trying to use these for a lot of projects with, you know, plug and play. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to revise these. I'm going to add um, auto reset circuitry because that was a common complaint people had. It was that you had to connect the reset pin instead of just connecting um, power ground data clock. Um, so I added that and I also updated it to add uh, that STEM IQT connector. So you can see here um, for the STM32 F4 or 5 feather, we have the I squared C connection, goes to this pressure sensor and then um, data comes out to the OLED. It's you know plug and play, so it's pretty easy 
to use. Let's remove this from the wax. Uh, so you see it plugs into the end. There's only, this one doesn't chain because like the end has an OLED connector on the other side, but it's great um, if you just want to you know, have a sensor or more and then connect it to a display. Thanks, solder free, put all this stuff together. I also like, by the way, you know, this is, we do this every week, but these are live demos. This is really working stuff. You see how it looks. Even on video, you can tell the quality of the displays and how Yeah, easy you this can have to lightly see it refreshing, which is fun. Yes, yeah, it's live. live. Okay. Um, so this is the uh, uh, 0.91 inch, 120 by 32 monochrome. You can still, it has the same pinout as before. So if you want to use it on a breadboard, you can use it on a breadboard just fine. Um, but, you know, we, we revised it and used uh, 0603 parts which let us have a little bit more space um, yeah. so that we could fit this DemoQT connector. We got another one. And we also updated the 1.3 inch OLED, which I was showing you earlier, connected to the Circuit Playground Express. Um, it's the larger version, and uh, this one does have connectors on both sides. So this used to be an SPI display, and now we've made it default I squared C. So that's one change. You can still set it to be SPI by cutting the two jumpers here if you'd like. But by default now, it's I squared C, and yeah, you can uh, plug and chain uh, connections to it. Um, and we also changed the mounting holes a little bit to put it on a 0.1 inch boundary. So it's a little bit mechanically different. Uh, the pinouts are the same, and by default, it's I squared C, and we added the auto reset circuit. I think it's a nice update, um, but we have been selling this for a while. It's like product number 930 or something. So I know people have been using this for a bit. So just be aware if you've used this in projects before, um, there is a slight mechanical change. Uh, we made it a little bit more compact and the electrical change. You have to cut these jumpers if you want the default SPI mode. But that said, I think a lot of people are gonna like the update. I think it's worth it to have it be now plug and play, no soldering required to add an OLED to a project. Okay. Well, that one here, please.